Peggy 12. Hello EU4 fans, I'm Martin Anvard and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Cossacks, which is the sixth major expansion for Europa Universalis IV. The central feature of the new expansion is estates, which adds internal politics. Estates are power groupings in your country, such as the nobility, the church, or actually even the aforementioned Cossacks. Estates exist in your country and have varying degrees of influence and loyalty depending on how you treat them and whether you grant them land to control. Land that they control will be autonomous, you will not be able to fully control it yourself, but will give various benefits such as increasing trade power if you give provinces to your merchants. Keeping the estates loyal is important as a powerful estate that is your friend is a valuable asset but a powerful estate that is your enemy will cause all sorts of problems in your country. However, it is important not to let the states grow too powerful, as an estate that has amassed enough power will attempt to grab power in the country and take control away from you. Another major feature in the Cossacks is diplomatic feedback, a new interface that lets you control your attitude and relationship with your artificial intelligence allies. You will be able to set provinces as being desired by you and the AI will know that you have laid the claim to this province and it will be far more likely to give it to you if you're together in a war. You will also be able to set your attitude towards countries so that you can let them know if you like them or if in fact you would like them to die. In addition to this, there is a new concept in diplomatic feedback called favors. When you have AI allies, you will accumulate favors over time. You can also get favors by, for instance, giving them territory in a war where they don't expect to get it, or otherwise doing nice things for them. Favors can be spent on calling your allies into wars where you don't promise them any gain. Allies who you do not have favors with will no longer unselfishly join your wars just because it would be fun. You can also spend favors on increasing the trust of a particular country if you want to build a strong alliance that will last for the rest of the game. They've also put quite a bit of focus onto the steps with a number of new mechanics for step nomads. Among them is the mechanic of horde unity. Horde unity is a replacement for legitimacy for step nomads and measures how loyal your tribes are, how willing they are to fight for you. Horde unity goes down over time and goes down faster the bigger your horde is, because the bigger the horde, the more conflicting loyalties. The way you raise it is by taking things from other people. For every ducat you loot from your enemies, your horde unity will go up as you are able to reward your tribes and followers with the money that they want. We've also added mechanics for the Tengri religion in East Asia. Tengri have what we call a syncretic fate. What this means is that in addition to their main fate, which is obviously Tengri, Tengri countries can choose a secondary syncretic fate from all the different fates they have in and bordering their country. You get to treat all provinces and countries of that faith precisely as though they were your own religion. Meaning that you basically pretend to be Muslims when talking to the Muslims and pretend to be Tengri when talking to the Tengri. Another feature we're expanding on in the Cossacks is culture. Presently, you can only convert provinces to your primary culture. But what if you actually want to do something a little bit more fun than that? Advanced Culture Change lets you choose which culture you want to transplant to a province. You can choose either between your primary culture, any culture adjacent to that culture, meaning that you can for instance spread Swedish culture into Denmark or Russian culture onto the steppes, or restore the original culture of the province if it has been changed. Spreading an adjacent culture or restoring the original culture of a province is significantly discounted so that there is an advantage to spreading cultures where they sort of belong. Another new thing in the Cossacks is something we call native policies. Native policies let you choose how you want to treat the natives living in provinces that you are colonizing. The coexistence policy basically means that you decide to coexist with the natives. What this means is that the natives will not attack, but because you're actually letting them keep all the nice land instead of taking it for yourself, your colony growth will be slower. The opposite of coexistence is repression, and the natives really won't like it and will actually rise up against you a whole lot more. But, inversely, you are in fact taking all of the nice land for yourself, your colony growth will be significantly faster. Finally, there is the trading policy, which sort of straddles the middle there. What the trading policy does is simply that it increases the bonus you get for assimilating natives by creating stronger economic bonds with them. 
We've also taken the opportunity to improve espionage by adding two new spy actions called Study Technology and Agitate for Liberty. Both of these are unlocked by the Espionage Idea Group. Agitate for Liberty lets you send a spy to the subject of another country. As long as that spy remains undiscovered, the liberty desire in that country will tick up, meaning that the country will become increasingly more concerned with independence, and might in fact declare an independence for it. So if your enemy has a particularly troublesome lesser union partner, you might want to send a spy there to tell them, you guys would really be better off on your own. Study technology lets you send a spy to a country that is more technologically advanced than you. In each category, administrative, diplomatic and military, where they are at least two levels ahead of you, you will gain one monarch power each month. Meaning that if you, for instance, are a bit of a backward country because you have just westernized, you will be able to use spies to catch up. The Cossacks will be coming to a step near you in late 2015.